Uh, today is provisioning account setup. Raise request through care form, customer request access form, admin center creation, maintain mini master data in SF as non EC system. So basically, we have previously demo and intro session where we understood about what is success factor and what are various modules in success factor and getting interaction into the instance system and provisioning system and later on we have uh, discussed about implementation methodology of success factor the way how the success factor will be executed in real time the implementation methodology along with important websites so these are all the basic things that given you any overview about the success factor is what we have been discussing in the previous session and now in our session today where we will start with day one activities whenever you will start your project the first day when you allocate it to the uh, project so now the first thing you are going to uh, do basically start focus on day one activity what will be the initial activities being as a CP success factor consultant now just a recap general these are the system we have two system generally one is provisioning and the other one is instance where i just told provisioning is a backend where you need to do some basic activities activation and access will be only to a certified consultant without a certification you can't access any provisioning system and in star system where we do majority of configuration 85 percent of the configuration can be done from here and this is the system client is going to use this front end instance system that is why we have two system in sap success factor system now regarding the day one activity so what to do we gonna day one when we start the project so if you have to start uh, contributing to a project it means you are uh, if you announce to be a part of the project first thing is you have to access the system moving towards the configuration is the second thing first thing you should have the access to customer system so how should i log in into the system what is the login password login credential i needed to get into the details so first thing getting the access to the system provisioning system and in star system is the first activity when you are allocated to, for the project so to get the access to the system first thing start from provisioning we have to do first giving the access to the provisioning system of the multiple uh, demo system instance so whenever you, you whenever you will have the access of the provisioning normally as we know provisioning is a place where you will do some basic activations like language pack enabling the modules that are going to implement for the customer and in that module specific feature functionalities which you want to be activated all these things that we do in the provisioning but all that majority of activation only you can do in requirement gathering once the customer requirement gathering process is done then you will have a clear picture of what are the customer requirement and what things have to active and what you and what's not you will have to do in clarity but requirement gathering might take some time it might take two to uh, two weeks it might take some project goes to four weeks to six weeks depending upon the project length and duration so once you will get the provisioning system access you don't need to wait for requirement gathering to complete before that there will be some few activations that you can already start doing irrespective of any module there will be some mandatory activations that are definitely be done in any project system so those SAP success factor platform related initial activations that you have to do irrespective of any module so these are five to six activation activities that you have to take it consider so the first thing is language pack out of 43 language which language of the customer you want to activate he will clearly tell you in prepare phase like this profile permission various things that you can activate activate on this provisioning system so we can activate this I will show you in later so these are very initial steps in the provisioning that you can see that's the very important six things language pack activate profile v12 and activate rbp role based permission set attachment and storage size limit create an admin user for the instance that's the very important thing and module specific activations like pm gm employee central any question till now oh it's self-explanatory thank you okay. coming down you have language pack in the system 
language pack as a section so in this language what all language are required that you can enable or disable out of 43 you can enable what is your customer want to active language pack all language are not required in the system so here under the company setting initially you will have language pack and you can be able enable required language of your customer desire so here out of 100 check boxes these are which uh, these there are some relevant different modules and on that different module functionalities when you click on company specific id as i told you before company specific id is happening when you click on that company id it will open you company specific page and on company specific page you have very first option which is company settings and on company settings you will be able to see different check boxes and different activations that you have to do during the project any question no no it's fine the, can you go to the previous page please okay okay so the the number six module specific activation oh you just select the module like employee central or who yes like employee central pm gm because you have different modules and uh, on implementation guideline you will be able to see uh, what kind of module specific activation that you have to do on the provisioning that is all ready sap is not like that they have just given your system no but on the system what thing you have to do how to you have to uh, implement the system they have uh, clearly stated everything on the implementation guidelines and for every module they have different implementation guidelines okay noted but for the demo for the demo or the ids you have all the modules right yes we uh, on the screenshot you will be able to see two demo system coming down we, you have language packs in the system language pack as a section so in this language what all language are required that you can enable or disable out of 43 and you can enable uh, what your customer want to activate all language are not required actually so here under the company setting initially you will have language packs and you can enable required languages so there are 100 of checkboxes are there which are relevant to different modules and on the module different okay sir. okay now let us treat sap success factor for a time being as non ec system Many of the client, as you can see, they will not go for employee central. As per my knowledge, I know many of the uh, client, they will start from the recruiting or PMGM and then after that they will uh, be able to start for uh, employee central EC. Okay. So if you are implementing success factor, employee, success factor system without EC employee central directly, it, if your customer is implementing only PMGM or RCM or both or any other talent specific module that we have discussed in the previous section so the key point is employee center is not a mandatory module other different modules okay but what EC does in the system employee center is a module that will take care of employee for the higher to uh, higher to retire uh, activities hiring of employees is promotion transfer salary correction termination all employee related activities that are handled in employee central then if you see employee central is not there then if not success factor customer might be using some other uh, third party hr system uh, to do the management of employee related data definitely hiring promotion transfer customer should be uh, done on the uh, on these processes in the third party system so if you are not using like you are doing in sap hcm so if you are not using sap success factor employee central for this purpose that means i understand you are using some uh, other hr system like hcm workday or any other third party tool you might be using such a uh, system for last 16 years or 20 years you don't want to lose the system you want to keep it but that for talent module you want to use sap success factor system then you will have a in <coughs> so in the system of sf where it is only being as a talent suit without so in the system of sf what is the being only uh, as a talent suit without uh, the core module of ec then we call them as users with every user just a mini master information what uh, around some 30 to 20 fields we will maintain that is good enough so that's how a non ec system can be maintained as mini master record so how to create these users if employee or in other system 
for them how we will create the user access in SF system what now we are looking for how to create the user for every employee the parent system in this system I am going to create the users for that creating the users we require some mini master information for that we are creating mini master data item and I want to do how to create them and we are going to look into the concept this is the integration involved between the two system it is employ file okay so till now okay. we have this session if you have any question you can just ask in to, uh, for me if you have any queries related to employ mini master record okay so my question thank you so much uh, this is well detailed um, for the upload part of it there was a time i was reading some documents for sf and i realized them um, you can schedule the job at the back yes ground. everything uh, every file you will import into the system you will be able to access with the help of scheduled job manager okay when you click on schedule job manager it will tell okay, you so are... uh, about the every detail of the job it is running into the system okay yeah and the other option i think there's another option or is just that just one? this one just only this one Okay. okay this is all for today okay and uh, okay thank you so much we will discuss the next topic uh, okay. i will share with you the files and the recording uh, by monday and also the system access okay okay thank, thank you, you so much uh, i really thank appreciate you. are you satisfied yeah. are you satisfied with very this good. session with this topic very well please that's very well please